removable discontinuities, which are sometimes called holes, and vertical asymptotes. Start simple. Have the function y equals 3x plus 5 over x minus 2. The first thing I ask myself is, do either of these pieces factor? No. Is there anything that I can cancel from the top and the bottom? No. So there are no removable discontinuities to this problem, which means there are no holes. So now I'm going to take all of the factors of the denominator, which in this case is only x minus 2. I'm going to set it equal to 0. Now I'm going to solve for x. The line x equals 2 now represents a vertical asymptote. When I graph this, I will graph it as a broken or dashed line. This also tells me that for the domain, x can be any value except for 2. Let's do another. x squared minus 4 over 3x minus 6. That is what y is equal to. Again, the first thing I ask myself is, can I factor the numerator and or the denominator? The numerator is a difference of squares, and the denominator I can take out something common. So it factors into y equals x plus 2, x minus 2, over 3 times x minus 2. And the first thing I notice are the x minus 2's that are shared in the top and the bottom. Because they're shared, that means I could cancel them out to reduce this function. And because I can cancel them out, that means I can remove them. So many people call those a removable discontinuity. In this case, we're going to refer to it as a whole. Well, if x minus 2 is representing our whole, or our removable discontinuity, again, I'm going to set it equal to 0 and solve for x, and I find out that x equals 2 is where there is a whole, and that the domain is every value again, except when x is 2. Let's look at a third example, and this one is already factored for us. Now that it's factored, I again try to see if there's anything that I could remove, anything that's in common in both the numerator and the denominator. The 3x minus 2 is in common, which means that that 3x minus 2 represents a removable discontinuity. Again, we can call that a whole. Well, I need to solve it, so of course I would add 2 to both sides first. Then I would divide both sides by 3. So x equals 2 thirds is the equation that represents the value of our whole, or our removable discontinuity. But after we remove that value from the denominator, I still have one more piece. The x plus 1 is still there. Well, that's going to represent our vertical asymptote. So in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, x plus 1, my vertical asymptote. Again, I'm going to have to set that equal to 0. So now I'm subtracting 1 from both sides. So x equals negative 1 is the equation of the vertical asymptote. Again, remember, I would draw that as a broken or dashed line. Well, these two values also tell me that for the domain of this particular function, the domain says that x can be any value except for 2 thirds and negative 1.